Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to talk about um, solutions and problems. So, you know, when we're faced with challenges in our everyday life, it's easy to get caught up in negativity of what's happening, how bad it is, overthink it you know and sometimes it can take control of us ruminating it around and around in your mind and you're not getting every, anywhere and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and sometimes things are big and sometimes they are complicated but when we get lost in it it's not going to help it's not going to achieve anything it just ends up becoming sort of mayhem in your mind and you're pretty much getting nowhere very very fast become so identified with the problem it sort of consumes you and overwhelms you sometimes you know I saw this girl in the park today and she was on the phone with somebody she was arguing with somebody on the phone and you know and I was just sitting watching from a distance and she was just completely consumed by the problem now I couldn't hear what she was saying but I, just watching her she was so overwhelmed that she she did not know what else was going on around her she was so overwhelmed with the problem she was facing and that's kind of what I'm talking about here to that stage where you're just totally oblivious to everything else around you and in fact it's sort of like a craze it's like a craziness that takes you over so we're going to look at you know getting out of that and um, stepping back out of that chaos and looking at solutions because if you become bound by your problems it will create demands and take your whole time and your whole energy. And that's exactly what was I was witnessing earlier on today. But if you can start to step back, you can grow and you can stop that from happening. And then you can move forward. And what we want to do is gain perspective. First of all, we want to gain perspective on what the problem is. How big is it? How complicated is it? Is it bigger than what we are imagining it to be? Or is it not? Is it something that if we just hold our hands up or put a step forward, that we can solve and even if you are being challenged by something quite big or maybe it's a few things it's quite complicated just starting to gain perspective of it stepping back maybe writing it down or if it's several things writing them down and that's the beginning step forward to solving it so even if you have a big problem that's quite complex, just getting started one step at a time, even if it's going to take you a little while to sort it out, the point is that you're starting to put one step in front of the other and then that will give you the motivation that you need and the momentum to move it forward you know and I would say try not to get rigid in your mind about what you think the solution should be or how it should be be open to suggestions be open to opportunities that might arise while you're trying to solve it and if it's something that's a bit more complex and you need help then reach out for help. Don't be embarrassed or ashamed. 
we all have problems. We all get ourselves into all sorts of trouble, whether they're our fault or not. And it's a learning opportunity. It's, a gro it's an opportunity for growth. And there are plenty of organizations out there if you need help. And they're free services if you need help with things like maybe debt or financial advice or whatever it is. All you have to do is just take that step out the door. Believe me, they've heard it all before. You coming in there is going to be absolutely nothing new. So don't worry about that. Take everything on board and then look at it. Remember that, you know, you've always got a choice. There's never a problem that you can't solve. Whether it's a little problem or whether it's a massive one, it's just a matter of breaking it down if it's very big, breaking it into parts, writing it down and taking it one step at a time. A lot of problems are not as bad as what we ruminate in our minds. Don't get stuck in your head about it. Just start focusing on solutions. You know, I would say, rather than look at it as a problem, maybe sort of look at it as a challenge that's got a goal at the end, and you're gonna work through this challenge to get to the end goal. And that will motivate you and keep you out of sort of negative thinking about what you might have done or what you've got to do or how you're going to solve it. And I would say try and stay away from obsessing about it. Distance yourself from it as much as you can. Break it down. And um, once you start that sort of forward momentum to solving it, you'll tend to find that naturally you'll come away from obsessing about you know how you're going to solve it and oh my god what have i done and what am i going to do because you're now focusing on the solution and you've also got to remember that whatever the problem is you can't walk it back it's done and the best that you can do is to try and resolve it in the best way that you can so accepting it is the best thing that you can do as quickly as you can and then start to figure out, okay, how am I going to move it forward? I mean, if you've got someone you can talk to about it that you trust, might be able to offer you some help and help you with ways of moving it forward as well. Doesn't mean that you have to do everything doesn't mean that you have to take all the advice it's just the more open you are the more tools you have in your toolbox once you start to learn to do that in the future problems won't be as difficult to resolve because you'll have already learned how to resolve things and it uh, becomes much easier to do it in the future regardless of times People get stuck in problems because they're too afraid to ask for help, they're too embarrassed, they're too ashamed, whatever it is. But you just have to get over that pretty quickly. And um, as I said before, everybody has problems. Everyone's made mistakes, whether they're yours or whether they're not yours. And getting stuck in that mindset doesn't get it resolved the better effect it will have on your life and you'll develop great skills especially leadership skills and then be able to help other people especially younger people that um, might not have support or are maybe feeling ashamed to ask for support and remember that um, finding solutions for problems has nothing to do with intelligence. It's just about asking, asking for help and 
writing down and breaking it down bit by bit what I can do and you'll find that once you get that resolved you'll it will empower you so I hope that helps until next time take care